allow your curiosity to expand as to what they may be, while at the same time allowing yourself a sense of attached detachment to know that whatever is not compatible with your preferred vibration cannot have any effect on you, and if you remain in the vibration of your preference, then they, in a sense, will not see you. You will be as invisible to them as they have formerly been to you. How do I make sure that I stay in that, in, in that mindset? By not worrying that you have to make sure you're going to stay in it. <laughs> okay. By worrying that you have to make sure you're going to stay in it, you don't stay in it. That makes sense. And Thank you. You I'm see how simple this is? Let it be obvious. <laughs> right. This is the science of the obvious. That's all this is. Once you understand, once you all truly understand the nature of the structure of existence, then everything becomes obvious. It becomes obvious that everything is here and now. It becomes obvious that reincarnation is actually simultaneous multiple synchronous incarnation. It becomes obvious that the vibratory level that you prefer is simply the vibratory level that you're on at that moment and that anything not compatible with that vibratory level will not be capable of finding you or affecting you in any way that you don't agree to be affected by since all things are by agreement. Now yes we understand that sometimes you can make unconscious agreements that you're not consciously aware of to attract things to yourself but that's only for the purpose of pointing out to you that you have made unconscious agreements with the beliefs that you have. So when that spirit points it out to you by instilling in a sense or activating the fear within you you can say thank you spirit for showing me I had a belief that was out of alignment with my truth and thus that formerly fearful spirit becomes someone who is a helpmate to you and can go on its way because it is now triggered within you what it needed to trigger and it has done its 